Hello everyone, welcome to JS Group Info. In this video we are going to talk about Sri Lankan Women's vs Bangladesh Women's T20 World Cup Match Review. I sure this video makes you more happy, and it relaxes your mind, if you are a cricket lover, this is the right channel for you, let's start the video. A first ever century stand in T20 is for Sri Lanka was the highlight of the evening as they picked up their second successive victory in the Women's T20 World Cup. Having stunned hosts South Africa in the opening game, Sri Lanka overcame a slight stutter to register a seven-wicket win at Newlands against Bangladesh on Sunday, February 12th. Chasing 127, Sri Lanka lost their talismanic skipper Chamari Athapathu even though she picked up three boundaries and looked in good nick once again. Marufa actor, who dismissed Chamari, managed to then dismiss Vishmi Gunritan and Danushika Sanjiwani off successive deliveries and at one stage had stunning figures of 2-1-2-3. Sri Lanka were in doldrums at 27 thirds after the power play and desperately needed the partnership to redeem themselves. Madhavi released the pressure by fetching a boundary off actor as the island nation crawled to 49 thirds at the halfway mark, with plenty to do in the second half of the chase. Madhavi picked up three boundaries off the next three overs to drag her side back into the contest. When Sri Lanka needed 41 from the last five, Madhavi brought up her 50 with a boundary through third man before hammering a six next ball over backwards square leg to turn the momentum. Another boundary followed to make it the 17 run over and from there on, Sri Lanka were certainly the favourites. Ilikshi De Silva, who was playing second fiddle until then, picked up her first boundary after having faced 28 balls already. The two batters eventually created history by bringing up the century stand before nailing the winning runs with 10 balls to spare. Earlier in the evening, Bangladesh went on a boundary spree to begin proceedings despite losing an early wicket via run out. Shama Masultana hit a couple of boundaries in this first over and saw Banamos Terry punished Shuganda Kokumari off three successive deliveries as Bangladesh raced to 27 1 after the first three overs, while Shama consolidated Bangladesh's position with another boundary in the following over. The joy was short lived. Shamama fell for a 13 ball 20 and Mustari was cleaned up by Athapath Thu as Bangladesh went into the halfway mark at 72 thirds. From that point, Bangladesh should have easily targeted a total over 140. However, Sri Lanka fought back in the second half of the innings. Despite not losing an additional wicket, Bangladesh managed just 22 runs in a five-over period quite shockingly to move to 94 thirds. The two batters, who failed to get going, were both dismissed in the same over by Oshadi Ron Azing. Bangladesh never managed to recover from this setback as the wickets kept tumbling. The boundary was not found at all in the second half of the innings until the final delivery that pushed the total to 126 eighths, a total that was clearly not enough. Thank you so much if you like my channel please give your golden support to me, like, share and subscribe for more cricket updates, be safe, be happy.